Welcome to Conflict Africa number two. This is part two of Racism Cuts to the Bone. This is a rehashing of the first three tapes that I did that I deleted. First three videos, excuse me. I uh, did a part one to this. This is part two. Again, I had to delete the original three tapes. I got too deep, so out of risk it, it might come back to bite me in the ass and prevent me from getting further jobs or any jobs in this acting thing that I've been on for 20 years. I decided to water it down. So, due to the fact that I can't pronounce the scientific names for all human species on Earth, I found this video, uh, I don't know if y'all can read that, I still don't know if you can read, there we go, N, C, and M, and this young black man is going to tell you what I mean before I continue the video, so that you will understand these words that I can't say, mostly because I'm not intelligent enough. Alongside Caucasoid and Mongoloid. You hear the oids? Caucasoid, Mongoloid, Negroid. There we go. Many social scientists have. Uh, you guys can find that video under RSCF. I just subscribed to him. Uh, it's a young man. I'll watch the rest of that later. But Negroids are black people, Caucasoids are white people, mongoloids are Asian people. If you go watch that whole video, it'll break down everything that I'm trying to say. So let's get back to the point of why. In the first video, I showed you guys a young lady who's a streamer, who is Asian from South Korea, who was the victim of some racism. Me, myself, has also been a victim of racism. Now, for those who are new here, because there is 108 of you now, so I thank you guys for being here very much. Um, my name is James Williams Jr. I am part Cherokee. I am part black. I am part white. I do not have the right to be a racist, but I do have the right to call out racist people, which is generally what I do. Now, regardless of how you feel in your political affiliation towards the head man in charge now and the head man coming in, means nothing to me as long as you vote. And that's why I lost a few followers, because I'm not a Trump supporter. All right? And the truth be told, I'm not so much of a Biden supporter, but I voted for Biden because... Elizabeth Warren, Andrew Yang, and PDP, because I can't say his actual last name, um, they were out. But I really want Elizabeth Warren to get in because she's 116th Native American, which is less than what I am, but still, because we don't know how much I am yet. But we will once we find a DNA test, and once I have money to take the DNA test. All right, so here's how this works. This young lady went through some hell. And I gave uh, some stories of my racial experiences. So I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to give you the short, short versions. All right? Uh, the very shortest versions I can possibly do. If you want long versions, they're on here on YouTube somewhere. You can go find them. Um, I've always been picked on because of my ethnicity. I've always been the half-breed. I've always been the person at school that people have decided, oh, well, you're not really black because you're half white. You're not really white because you're half black. And then the big mind-blowing revolution was when I found out that I was also part Cherokee Indian, which really blew up everything. So um, being called chief totally sucked worse than being called the N-word, and I had to deal with that for three years. That's one of the stories that I'm going to mention. Um, the race war started in Berlin Moran. Uh, Black friends didn't want me because I was half white. White friends didn't want me because I was half black. So that whole yin-yang thing was going on. And um, that's kind of where it all started. And it started with black girls telling me I would never be good enough to date black girls. And somewhere in my twisted mind, I believed that until I got to date black girls and found out, you know, those black girls might have actually been right. But getting past that, that's also somewhere in here. Um, you know, if you haven't been the victim of racism... You have been blessed. I will honestly, truly to God, say you have been blessed. Where I, on the other hand, have been the victim of racism from blacks, from whites, from Native Americans, but not from other Asians. All right? Let me break that down for you, since if you haven't done your history, Native Americans are biologically Asian. They came and discovered America before anyone else, and they got an oppressive foothold for 20,000 years. So only... The second generation of Native Americans are actually Native Americans. The first generations were nomads and wanderers from Asia through Siberia, crossed the Barren Straits, hit Alaska, splintered out. Some of them splintered out so far that they walked all the way around the earth and came back to Upper Siberia. So there are Native American tribes that are actually in Upper Siberia, just in case you wonder how someone from Russia could be Asian-looking. 
It's because they not only had to deal with Mongolian hordes of Genghis Khan and um, Alexander the Great, but they also had to deal with the fact that mongrels went all over the place. All right, now that we got that established out of the way, let's get to me. All right, so as a kid, I was always told by black kids, you're not really a black person because they see my mom. And then from white kids, it was the same thing because they see my mom, but they never saw my dad. So my dad mostly looked black, but his dad was black. His mom was Native American. They're Cherokee. All right, my mom's side's pretty much the same thing. My mother's father was black and white. He was a product of mixed dating, racial dating, or whatever that was. And then she, her mother, was either black and Cherokee or all Cherokee. We're not sure. So that's the long and short of that for people who are just coming here, just getting to know me. I often say I don't have the right to be a racist because I am the three primary races of America, which is Native American, black, and white. But I will call out racism, and people don't like that shit, especially when I talked about Trump and how he has a problem with Native Americans, which means he has a problem with me. And then there was the Central Park Five, which also means he has a problem with me. And then I did say in the original video that um, I was mad at the Asians who were voting for Trump, and I was mad at the one Native American, I think it's working Native if you're on, I'm still mad at you because you can't support someone who does not like Native Americans and be a Native American. And Standing Rock, long live the, the, the Sioux tribe of Standing Rock. Which is another thing that I lost followers for. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, I'm going to give you 99.9 .9, and honestly, truly to God, you're not going to like it. It's just that simple. Because I don't want to get too deviant from the topic of this young lady being a victim of racism. But for you Trump followers, I don't care if you follow Trump. I just question your moral compass because you can't have someone tell you, if you vote me in, I'm not going to let anything happen to your tribe. And the day one that I get in, I completely demolish everything I said and Standing Rock happened. But my problem with Trump spins all the way back to 1993 when I was like a 19-year-old man and Trump was telling Native Americans she have to pay high taxes on the casinos and because he pays high taxes on his casinos. But what he fails to understand is that this land is your land, the song, you know, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to New York Island. Well, let's pump the brakes on that really quickly because this land belongs to my ancestors, not his. And let's, let's keep it real. When whites and slaves came over, Native Americans were pushed on dirt that could not be cultivated but they still managed to cultivate it and thrive because they had to figure it out and they did and then let's not go forget about the 1924 now you have the right to be an American for Native Americans who were here centuries before other people Native American royalty was taken from them so Princess Pocahontas was no longer declared a princess and when she moved in with John Roth and became his wife she changed her name to Rebecca you guys can go fact check that and correct me if I'm wrong that being said, we're done with that. The point of my video was the simple fact that this young lady from South Korea was in Germany doing one of these live streams and giving people tours or whatever it is that she does. And I got my video from Terry TV. Thank you, Terry. You're cool as shit. And the fact of the matter that racism still exists. Charlottesville was very racist. It was just under the table until 2017 with the death of Miss Hire killed by a white man and she happened to be a white woman standing up for a black cause. So racism, if you haven't been a victim of racism again, you have been blessed. Now I pissed off a few Asian people who supported Trump and what I said was, and I'ma own what I said, what I had said to the Asian people who probably left me from here and if they did that's cool, I'm not mad at them for leaving me because you have that right to your opinion because God knows sure as hell if I put this on, you know, it was for everyone who lives under the banner of the stars and stripes to have the right to vote for who you want, to have the right to say what you want respectfully, you know, not cuss words and things, well, cuss words are okay, but not racial slurs at people because that's one thing that you can't change. You can't change your race. You can change your gender when you get enough money, but prior to that, whatever body you're born into, that's where you are. If you're born black, you're black. If you're born white, you're white. If you're born Native American, you're born Native American. If you're born Asian of any ethnicity, that's what you're born. So, Caucasoid, Nagraloid, Mongraloid. That's what we are. That's it. I happen to be all three. And I don't have the right to be a racist.
but I will call a racist out in a New York fucking minute. So I'm calling myself out because I was being racist towards Trump. All right? No beans, nothing burnt, just the truth. Now, this young lady had white men who were German, not all Germans, just a few fucked up ones, who started doing this. You know, making fun of her and talking, yeah, she no way I out. You know, making fun of her language. And then you had someone who actually literally made her break down and cry. You know, and that shit hurt my feelings watching it because of the stuff that I've gone through in similar fashion. The only thing was, I rarely had any physical altercations outside of being jumped on my job at Kegler's and basically being called chief. But that was never physical. Being jumped on my job was physical. And I'm pretty sure I said that in the other video, so we won't dwell into that. I had lots of fights because of my hair. You know, my hair is naturally curly. I got enough royal crown grease in this thing to land an airplane on and keep all the landing gear intact. I like having straight hair. I like having long hair. It's just part of my heritage that I have, and I'm keeping it. You know, it's curly and it's long. It's white and Native American. Possibly black, but it's never, ever needed um, a pick. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing is, when it comes down to racism, what doesn't affect you directly will affect you indirectly. It will affect someone that you know on some level or another, which will make you open up your eyes. And that is why I am here. I am here to make you understand. I am here to make you open your eyes. I am here to piss you off about the shit that you and everyone around you turns a blind eye to unless it affects someone that they know directly. And that's what racism does. It does affect someone that you know directly. You just don't know it yet because it hasn't hit that person. Which goes back to what I was about to say before I got this far down the rabbit hole about how I pissed off a few Asian people when I said the only reason that I am angry at you supporting Trump is because of how much danger he has put my Asian friends in, especially my Chinese friends, with calling it the Chinese virus, or Kung Flu. And I said it in my video, and I'm going to own it, which I was going to before I got down the rabbit hole again. I just told them, honestly, he just hasn't gotten to your Asian yet. Same thing with the one Native American that probably voted for him, who was like the working Native. I know you're out there, and I know that you voted for this guy. And if any other Native Americans voted for him, then you can take this the same way that he can take this. You guys are fucked up. He does not like Native Americans. He's never liked Native Americans, and if you're voting for this prick, then you're a dick. And I own that shit. I'm part of Native American, so you can take that to the bank. Any Native American that has voted for Trump after what he did with Standing Rock, after what he did in 93, well, we got problems. Alright? Now, neither one of us is going to be able to do anything about it in the physical. Don't come to my house. I will fuck you up. I do know how to shoot a bow and arrow. But more importantly, I'm a martial artist and I know how to fight. So don't come to my house with no dumb shit. But take this shit for real. Because what affects one tribe affects all tribes. Or did we all kind of forget what happened when the Europeans landed with slaves? Did we all kind of forget how Manhattan Islands and everything up the eastern seaboard was gone. How Powhatan, Cherokee, Seminole, do I need to keep counting, got taken off their land. Do we not forget how cut all this off, give them a mop top, kill the Indian, save the man. Did we forget that? Because I haven't forgotten that. I haven't forgotten when my great grandmother Ada told me that her and her brother John had to go to a school on the reservation and how there was no schools when segregation came. I haven't forgotten that shit. Y'all might have forgotten that shit, but I'm 47. I haven't forgotten that shit. I haven't forgotten any of the stories that she told me when I was a six-year-old kid. She died when I was 12. I didn't get to go to the funeral. I haven't forgotten her. Ada Wallace Ford, I have not forgotten you. Uncle John, I never met you. But I know you exist. And to my family, this descendants of Uncle John. I hope to meet you before I die. And if not... Whenever I get the chance to go to Grandma Ada's grave, I will get there. Or whenever I die, something, somehow or another, fate tends to work out. Now, if you haven't been the victim of racism, and you haven't gone to what that girl's gone through, you need to find uh, Terry TV and look un under Stop Being Racist to This Streamer, and you will understand. Now, I, on the other hand, I have been a victim of racism and other things all my life. And the thing is, you know, 
I lost a lot of friends during Black History Month. Every year. Every year in Black History Month, my, I got lesser and lesser white friends, and I couldn't figure out why. Because school puts fear in the white kids and hatred in the black kids. And you guys don't have to agree with me that shit, but think back to your very first Black History class. How excited everybody seems on day one. And by day 28, because Black History Month is February, so there's only 28 days of this shit. By day 28, think about how less your white friends spoke to you during that entire month. And how scared of you they became during the year as it goes through. This is kind of what started the race war that we had at Bourbon Moran. I had a lot of white friends. And then every year before the race war... The race war happened between third and fourth grade, or in the fourth grade, since I failed the fourth grade and had to repeat it twice. The race war was in between third and fourth grade. And I know for a fact that 20% of my friends who were white didn't want nothing to do with me. Most of my friends that were black didn't want nothing to do with me while we were in school and barely spoke to me in the projects. So again, Black History Month puts hate and anger in black children and fear in white children. You would think that eventually we would get over that, but by the time I got to the fifth grade, it was twice as bad. And then there was the whole Native American thing inside of Black History Month. We had like two weeks of Native American history inside of Black History Month, so thank you, Miss Conrad, for that. But the point being made, if you're going to install fear in the children because of something that their ancestors did that they are not responsible for, you should probably make sure that you tell the black children that was thousands of years ago, or hundreds of years ago, and your friends who are white should not be afraid of you because of something that their ancestors done. And you, if you're black, you shouldn't be angry at your white friends. It's not their fault. As I said at the beginning of this video, you cannot choose your color and your ethnicity. And you can't choose your gender until you get money to change it. You know, if you want to become a young woman and you were born a young man for 18 years of your life, you've been a man. Well, you get that $20,000 surgery, now you're a woman. Make sure this thing's not there, though. No, make sure you get rid of that. But, you know, if, if you're a woman and you've lived 18 years of your life as a woman and you want to be a man, and I don't see there's anything wrong with it on either circle except for I will say that that gets a lot of people killed when the truth comes out. So you should probably only date within your own community. That way everybody is fine and safe and happy and there will be no prejudice and there will be no racism and there will be none of that other shit. Well, there you go. But as far as the real world goes, this is how the real world goes. You're born a boy. You're born a girl. You were born black, white, or Asian. That's it. Or, as this guy said, let's see if I can replay it. So then I can go get in the shower. Let's see if I can replay this thing. Early racial, uh, racial signs and anthropometry. Major races All right, here we go. Let me of back humankind. It three. Negroid denoted... One of the three that would be black major people. races of humankind. One of the three major races of humankind. Let me read that again. One of the three major races of humankind. And? Alongside Caucasoid and Mongoloid. Hitohoids, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, Negroid. And Many now social we're done. scientists have. Now, since I'm the combo of all three, I think I can speak for everyone when I say racism fucking sucks. And until we all take a knee to the face of racism, we're going to have to suffer until we make change. But we don't make change. You know why? Because we will watch people suffer, and we will watch people crumble, and we will do nothing. And this is how the world works because we choose to let that work that way. I'll make a third video.